But the maps are very detailed. Hitler's men clearly spent plenty of time highlighting roads, railways, electrical hubs and power stations. It still seems odd to me, though. You could understand him wanting to come to one of our major cities, but Bridge North? Well, maybe my old friend and historian Nick Barrett will be able to shed a little bit more light on the subject. Nick, looking out at this Shropshire countryside is beautiful. Um, it's hard to imagine what might have been. It is, isn't it? I mean, this is a typical English countryside scene. Rolling hills, beautiful forest. But you almost get the sense that this could actually be part of Germany, the Black Forest region perhaps. So it's not that much of a stretch of the imagination to imagine what could have happened in 1941, 1942, for example. I mean, here is perfect in many ways. You've got good rail connections, very good road networks, and also water and air, canals and an airbase nearby. So in many ways, it does make a lot of sense. Nick, in your opinion, do you think this story is true? There's nothing to say that it couldn't be true, although it would be good to see a bit more information before I make a final decision, perhaps. We've managed to track down the original maps and I can't wait to take a closer look. We see here in this box, clearly labelled here, Bridge North. I mean, here you have a map of, of Great Britain, telecommunications and, and various different areas, really, really important, and yet you've got a box there clearly labelled Bridge North, so they were obviously looking at our area. You can begin to understand how it would have worked. You come in and you see London. Right. Birmingham is obviously a key area, so you've got the London area, the Birmingham area, Liverpool, Newcastle, that's how England works. But we're really looking just slightly out of that region, so if you're thinking of a base, an operational HQ, we know that Hitler wanted to take Blenheim Palace, that was an operational HQ. Yeah. But if you want a personal headquarters, somewhere where you can go, that is both strategically important, so you can tap into this network, but safe, a little bit away from any enemy action, for example. You don't want to be too near a built-up urban area where there's likely to be resistance and fighting. Yeah. Suddenly, the importance of Bridge North makes a huge amount of sense because it's close enough to the industrial heartlands and this hub of the communications network, but it's just far enough out to be strategically yeah. safe. From what you've seen here, then, do you think there is more truth in this story now that Hitler had targeted Bridge North and Shropshire for his base? Well, Bridge North certainly seems to be significant. I mean, summing up, this is from the invasion of 1940. It's a communications map which is absolutely crucial if you want to either invade or govern a country. And Bridge North is singled out for special attention. So yes, it could easily be that this is where Hitler wanted to base his personal communications network, a place of safety, but also tapped into the main grid, if you like.